Okay, my name is Todd Christel, and we are going to continue the series on creating a Connect service uh, in VPL. Uh, as I mentioned on previous recordings, we are going to start with the Follow Me service, and we're going to use the things that we learned uh, in the Activity Box video and the Manifest video to uh, to create a service. So. I have the uh, follow me service up here and basically what we're going to do is start eliminating everything that doesn't have to do with uh, with the connect itself and so that means um, well, we don't need the timers we don't need the uh, parallax platform uh, we can actually select multiple of these and delete them Okay, we need our join here. We need, uh, we don't need our if statement. Uh, we don't need obviously any of these right here. Let's see if I can get all of them. That flexible dialog is gone. Uh, configuration settings, we don't need any of those. Okay, and uh, you'll notice if we go to configuration, we don't need these configurations either. Um, we can go ahead and, and delete those just to make it clean. Um, delete it. Delete it. Okay. And, uh, well, let's see. Anything else? Nope. So, we're going to try and grab all of these and make sure it, um, sometimes I can't get them all, so I'm going to get them down. I'm going to get them down to a place where I can. And, uh, I got that a little too close to the top. Okay, so we have our connect. Uh, we have uh, we're pulling the raw frames out. We're checking each of them to see if they're tracked, um, and uh, then extracting the x and the z values and sending turning a message and taking the non-tracked and and generating essentially another message. So we have two message flows coming out. Of, of this little bit of code here. So we're going to grab the activity block that we talked about previously and we'll go ahead and open it up. Um, well just for fun let's go back to the diagram and um, we will name it connect service. Well changing languages here can't have a space okay so we have connect service so uh, as you see it, it changed up there so what we're going to want to do is get it out of the way so that we can grab everything here and control X to cut it and we'll go into our connect service and I will paste it here and there we go is it all still selected? Yeah, that makes it handy. Okay, so we have our connect service now. Um, so as you remember in the activity, uh, we want to uh, create the uh, inputs and outputs. And so uh, so our output values are um, we'll call one of them X. And it's a double. And we'll add Y. And it's a double. And then we'll also have uh, um, what we're going to call the action here poll. That's the thing that you know, when you go into the into the service, it'll it'll give you a selection of what you want to do, and we want to pull the connect. And um, let's see, is there anything else? Okay, we also want our notifications, and our notifications are going to be. Um, we'll add one. And we'll call it. Uh, Not tracked. No. And I 
Oh, sorry. We call this whether it's the tracked notification. And we need to actually add the, the value and it will be and it will it will kind of signal when we are not tracked and it will be a uh, uh, type boolean okay so the notification type is tracked and the notification value is whether or not we are tracked so we have that if we go from our join here to our output uh, we should be able to edit the values directly and we want x to go to x and we want Z to go to Z. And we're good there. Um, our join messages here. So if, if nothing, if, if the uh, connect is not seeing a skeleton, if it's not locked onto a skeleton, it's it, all of these if statements are gonna be false and it will uh, uh, generate this. And so we're gonna do our combined output to tract And um, and false false is fine. So the last thing we need to do is connect the input, and we um, we want to include depth. We don't need video, and we want to include um, skeletons. Huh, true. Okay. And at that point, we have our connect service. So we, um, you also want to make sure here that the port settings are the port settings that you normally use in your environment. Um, so t it's time to compile the service. So we go to build, compile a service, and uh, source code of the, of the uh, into the pulled folder. Uh, once again, it does not contain useful information. That's the way we planned it. So we uh, say yes here and we let it compile. So the project has been successfully compiled as a service. So we view and uh, reload services and there is something I really should have done here and I I, I used the follow me code and um, what I really wanted to do was um, save it as um, something like the word polled which is I'm, I'm gonna do it here in a second a little later off, off video but um, save it as like polled and then that would be a polled with a space and then the and then the name of the activity and it would show up as connect service so i had done that earlier um if, if i just search on connect um you can see uh there the follow me connect service is the one that we just created um the one I, that i did earlier here was polled connect service which is probably a little more a little more descriptive um, but so the last thing that you're going to need to do um, if you were going to use uh, here we'll delete this and we'll go to uh, no well, we can we can use the follow me um, Let's see, follow me service. Oh, here, we'll just use pull to connect. The last thing you're going to need to do is to add a, um, a manifest for this. And so um, we're going to bring up the 
Because if you try to run this, uh, when you try to run this, it, it just it won't work because there's nothing that connects the um, user connect with this new service that we have. We have to tie, even though we use the user connect service in the, in the code, you need to tie it to the actual code that, that um, VPL does that for you automatically um, when you're just using the user service, the user connect service. But if you uh, create your own service, you got to do that yourself. So, so if we go to... Um, the manifest editor search for connect and uh, Okay, I'm gonna. I already have a manifest for the other one, so I wouldn't be able to. You know, it's, we'll use the follow me connect service that we cre we just created here, and then we'll, then we'll change it off in the other program. So, um, so we're gonna take the follow me connect service because that's the thing that we need to um, to build the linkage with. And you can see here, it tells you that uh, follow me connect service needs a link to user connect, and um, and so user connect. Uh, where is user connect here it is at the top and so basically all you need to do is grab that and drop it in here you can see it likes it and it it brings in user connect and then sets the uh, uh, coupling between uh, the service that we created and, and user connect and uh, we save it 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 saves it into the samples config file where it belongs and we'll just call it uh, follow me one uh, follow me one connect service save it off so we have our manifest like I said I'm gonna I'm gonna take away the one I did and uh, and, and go ahead and use the one that we built and you want know, to set configuration and we say we want to use a manifest and we want to import it and there is the um, there's your service so from now on whenever you need to use the uh, the service that or, or the uh, code that will give you the X and the Y position uh, of a locked skeleton um, you can uh, just bring this off of your uh, services and not have to write all that code and so once you've got that all debugged and working then now uh, you've got a, a nice solid service to use um, so the next thing we're going to do is uh, use this to move the robot around and hopefully combine it looking for people and locking onto them and following them and when it doesn't find a skeleton it will do some random wandering so uh, anyway that's the end of this video and uh, I look forward to the I guess the last one in the series thanks a lot